Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing extremely well. Welcome back to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Rajat Rawat and in this video we will be talking about most famous data structures and algorithms which you should know in order to master coding rounds as well as interviews. So these are the topics which you should know and don't miss these topics uh, before going for the interviews or the coding rounds because these are the most famous topics which you should know before going for the coding rounds or the interviews because these are definitely asked or questions are definitely asked from one of these topics. So we will divide this video in two parts. First we will talk about the most famous data structures and then we will talk about the algorithms which you should know. So coming to the first data structure which you should know is the arrays. It is one of the most important data structure in almost every problem you are requiring array which is basically a building block of every DSA right like queues, stacks, linked list all these are implemented using arrays also. So arrays is one of the most important data structure and you should know this data structure before going for the interviews. And the next is your linked list. Linked list is very interesting data structure and it involves various types of linked list like a single linked list double linked list, circular linked list, all of these three you should know in order to get good grasp in the interviews. Going to the third is the hash maps. It is basically a key value pair a data structure which is very important and because it takes around order of one time for searching and finding the elements in the map. So it is very important data structure which you should know because quite a lot of problems are easily solved using hash maps in order of n time only. And coming to next data structure which is very important is your queues which is the first in first order data structure which is also important data structure and it is also used in many problems. The next data structure which is very important is your binary trees. Trees is really important data structure because most of the problems they are easily solved using logarithmic time because that is the height of the tree depending upon the height of the tree but it helps us to solve the problems in order of log n time. And coming to the next is the binary search trees which is an extended version of binary trees as it is basically an extension of binary trees and it involves quite a lot of interesting problems which can be solved using binary search trees. Coming to the next is your uh, tries which is basically for suggestions or autocomplete feature like in google we will type uh, c o d i n so it will automatically give us coding like this right so it is for the automatic search feature or basically suggestion features right so tries is also an important data structure and the next is your heaps heaps is very uh, interesting data structure because it involves quite a lot of problems which can be solved like k closest points k frequent elements like this the top k problem basically solved using heaps next is your graphs which is also important data structure and this is the most important data structure coming to the interviews so these are the all ds which you should know now coming to the algorithms, the algorithm which you should know is basically BFS and DFS. These are the algorithms which you should know because they are used in graphs techniques like in the traversal algorithms and trees traversal algorithms which you should know. Next is the binary search which is very important algorithm because it involves quite a lot of problems which, which was previously asked in interviews of Google like book allocation problem, painter partition problem, aggressive cows or there is also concept of binary search on answers which is really an interesting concept which can be solved using binary search. Coming to the next is your DP which is uh, one of the most famous algorithm which can be asked in coding rounds or in interviews because at least one question is definitely there in the coding round which involves dynamic programming. The next is your string matching algorithms like the KMP or the Rabin Kalb algorithm in which you need to find whether the given pattern exists in the string or not. And the last but not the least is the sorting algorithm which are the very main and interesting algorithms like uh, quick sort, mud sort, heap sort like this. These are the basic building blocks algorithms which you should know. So these are the all the data sets and algorithms which you should know in order to master the coding rounds all as well as to get good hold in the interviews. So that's all about this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. That's all and thank you very much.